Hi guys, I'm Randy with VRS TV, and today we explore the incredibly quiet, uniquely controllable DC return pumps from Ecotech Marine, the Vectra S1, M1, and L1. In this video, we'll discuss what these pumps can do, help you pick out the right one for your tank, give you all the specs, and show you how to get them running as well as keep them running down the road. The Vectra return pumps are extremely quiet compared to common AC pumps and quieter still compared to many DC pumps currently on the scene, which is mostly attributed to Ecotech's quiet drive technology for powering the motor. On top of its super quiet operation, when connected to the Ecotech ReefLink via its internal wireless communication, the Vectra transforms into a smart pump that's capable of notifying you if the pump were to ever stop running completely, if it's running outside of its normal operating temperature, if it's lost communication with the ReefLink, and if it's in battery backup mode. Along with alerts when connected to the ReefLink, you can add your pump to the EcoSmart Live platform to have one cohesive control center for all of your Ecotech products like Radions and Vortec pumps, which helps to make programming them a breeze. However, you don't need the ReefLink to use the Vectra pump as it's fully programmable and controllable all from the included driver. When sizing a pump for your tank, typically reefers aim for pumps that will provide around 10 times of the total water volume for turnover through the entire system, knowing that the actual pump output could be anywhere between 25 to 50 percent less due to things like head pressure loss from vertical plumbing runs, as well as from multiple plumbing fittings, meaning that the actual turnover is often between five times to seven times after head loss pressure is calculated. With that in mind, it's a good rule of thumb to select a pump rated slightly higher than the 10 times turnover calculation. Keeping that in mind, the Vectra S1 boasts a 1400 gallon per hour flow rate with about 11 and a half feet of head height, meaning that for most common tank setups with the sump about four to five feet below the top of the tank, this pump will push out around 800 gallons per hour, making it best suited for tanks up to 75 gallons. The Vectra M1 is rated for 2,000 gallons per hour, but at a little over 21 feet of head, making a single pump a good option for most standard tanks upwards of 180 gallons, while the L1 with the same head height at 3,100 gallons per hour would be a good choice for those tanks upwards of 220 gallons. It's also becoming increasingly common for reefers to use two pumps on each return for redundancy, like using two Vectra S1s for a tank about 150 gallons or less. When you open the box of the pump, you'll see that they come with the pump and about nine feet of cable to the quiet drive driver, a power supply, and a convenient driver mount bracket. The S1 pump has one inch input and three quarter inch output quick coupling collars and measures right at about six inches long by five and a half inches tall with them installed and is close to only three and a half inches wide. The M1 has the same one inch and three quarter inch connections as the S1, but measures just slightly larger at about six and a quarter inches long by six inches tall and a little wider at four and a quarter inches. Finally, the larger L1 has an input fitted for one and a half inch connections and a one inch output connection. And with the couplings installed, measures right at about seven inches by six and a half inches tall and a little over four and a half inches wide. Physical installation of your Vector pump is pretty straightforward depending on your specific plumbing approach, which is most commonly submerged in the sump or externally outside of the sump. As I mentioned, the S1 and M1 have one inch and three quarter inch input and outputs while the L1 has one and a half and one inch. So for plumbing the pump with PVC, you can match those sizes to the same sized pipe. One key thing to note here about gluing your PVC to the blue ABS quick coupling collars is that it's important to use glue or cement that's specialized for ABS to PVC like this one from Odi, as other cements can be too toxic for the fittings and prevent a solid leak-free bond. Outside of that, there are additional plumbing options available with adapter kits for soft plumbing with the barb and screen kit, where you can glue the appropriate size barb fitting into the output and add a protective screen to the input when used in an in-sump scenario. Also, if you want to use a different approach to hard plumbing your pump to the system internally or externally, there are the Schedule 40 adapter kits that thread onto the British Standard Pipe or BSP threads directly on the pump and convert it into a slip PVC union which you can glue with standard PVC cement. Some reefers may choose to use the pump as an alternative to power heads for creating flow within the display by plumbing it as a closed loop pump which essentially just circulates the water in the tank. When plumbed in this fashion, the Vectra allows you to have multiple flow choices like random changes in flow with the Lagoon and Reef Crest modes or adjustable pulsing flow like the Gyre option. Lastly, you can mount the driver using the included driver mount and screws, keeping in mind that adding a drip loop to avoid water getting into the electrical components is always best practice. 
Moving on to setup and use of the Ecotec Vector pumps, although you can simply turn it on, set the flow rate and go, by calibrating these pumps first, you unlock helpful and unique features to not only safeguard the tank, but to also keep your fish food in the tank rather than going down the overflow when feeding. Calibrating the pump will allow us to determine a minimum flow rate that maintains a slight trickle out of the return lines when in feed mode in order to stop the food going down the drain, as well as set a max flow rating that won't allow the pump to push more water than your specific desires for the tank, even if the control knob is accidentally bumped or when the power is lost and comes back on. You can either calibrate the pump manually with the driver or follow the easy steps to calibrate them wirelessly for those of you who have them connected to the EcoSmart Live, both of which Ecotech provides great tutorials for how to do. Once your pump is calibrated, you can set your desired speed on the dial or choose a percentage through the ESL app or dashboard and you're done. You can also use the driver to manually enter a feed mode by pressing and holding the mode button for a few seconds to activate. The feed mode will last around 10 minutes and automatically return to your set flow speed when done. Maintaining your Vector pump will not only help to keep it in top shape, but also have it reliably working for you for the long run. Ecotech recommends cleaning the pump in a mild vinegar and water solution about twice a year as necessary, in which case you can simply uncouple it from your plumbing and drop it into a five gallon bucket of solution for several minutes until the buildup is removed. If your pump requires deeper cleaning than that, which is likely best to do at least once per year, you can remove the volute and impeller to ensure that they are clear from buildup and even give them a light brushing if needed. There are a couple of ways that you can accessorize your Vectra S1, M1, or L1, but likely the most beneficial accessory is the battery backup with the required battery backup booster connection cable. With these two accessories, you can rest assured that your tank will be protected during a power outage by circulating the water and increasing the oxygen exchange within the tank. In order to set up the backup flow mode that works best for your tank, you will need to unplug the power supply from the driver while it's connected to the battery backup and choose your desired backup operations from options like 5 minutes on, 15 minutes off, 5 minutes on and 30 minutes off, or always on. Just keep in mind that each setting will change the amount of time that the battery backup will be able to keep the pump running, with the most efficient typically being 5 minutes on and 30 minutes off. Along with that, as I mentioned, you could pick up the Ecotec ReefLink to connect your pump to the EcoSmart Live platform with any of your other Ecotec gear like Radions or Vortec pumps to allow you to calibrate, program and enter feed modes all from your mobile device or home computer. Lastly, as I discussed earlier, there are plumbing adapters available to help you plumb the pump tailored to your specific tank and needs with the Schedule 40 adapters for both the pump's input and outputs, as well as a barb and screen kit for tying your pump into soft tubing and to keep the wandering critter from getting stuck inside. Thanks for watching, and if you have any more questions that we didn't answer here, feel free to give us a call, send us an email, or hop on a chat. See you next time on BRS TV.